Okay, I want the full fetch treatment. A wash, cream rinse, and a lot of that wiggly stuff you do with your fingers. <laughs> it's magical. It's the 25th anniversary of that 70s show, and we're taking the Vista Cruiser down memory lane to revisit the show's best celebrity cameos. First up, almost the whole cast of The Mary Tyler Moore Show. Valerie Harper played Kitty's sister Paula in season three. And Paula, you look great. And so pink. <laughs> You're so cute. Here's 20 bucks. Betty White recurred as Kitty's mom in season five. I love Eric with all my heart. And I know that when you give me a chance, you'll see that we're great together. Well, that's very sweet. And you're right. I'm sure you're the nicest girl Eric's met so far. <laughs> Miss Moore herself appeared as a local talk show host, Christine St. George, in season eight. Dear, these are skills I could teach a monkey. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I did. Episode 427. And Gavin McLeod guest starred as Barfly Smitty, also in season eight. You know, I used to think it was cute when my wife finished my sentences. You know what I wanted to finish now? Living. <laughs> Mr. C and Marion from Happy Days appeared separately. You don't like it when I come to visit. Yes, I do. I really do. You're a filthy liar. Marion Ross recurred in seasons one and two as Red's overbearing mother, Bernice. I don't think being nice for a whole day would kill you. <laughs> and Tom Bosley guest starred in season eight as Jackie's therapist, Dr. Hammond. Seems like a fine man, or at least he is now, before you get your sadistic female claws into him and make him forget that he's even a man at all. Who watched The Brady Bunch and said, hey, Greg and Peter would make a cute couple? That 70s show, of course. Barry Williams and Christopher Knight were brought in to play Red and Kitty's gay next door neighbors in season eight. The last place we lived, we had to tell people we were brothers. <laughs> Who would ever believe that the two of us could be brothers? Speaking of the Bradys, we all know Jan was the best. Here's my sister, the new Jan Brady. Hi there. So, of course, Eve Plum just had to cameo as Jackie's mom in season one. The deck is new, and this lovely tile walkway leads directly to the pool. <laughs> which is filled with some of the local kids. <laughs> Meanwhile, Marie McCormick never showed up at all. Finally, I did it. Something Marsha's never done in her whole life. Hmm. Let's see, that's Jan 1, Marsha 0. How embarrassing, Marsha. Hey, you guys. Oh, no! Anyway, Eve Plum's character, Pam Burkhart, showed back up in season six. I don't care to discuss it! But this time she was played by another 1970s kid star named Brooke Shields. And here I am! <laughs> Mom! Oh, I love making an entrance. Be a dear and go watch my luggage. Really? Mm -hmm. Thanks. <laughs> Moving on to Danny Bonaducci, who guest starred as Fatso Burger Boss Ricky in seasons one and three. If you work hard, pay attention, and use the proper finger release technique on the slant cup dispenser, you could be me. Also in season three, Bonaducci's Partridge family mom, Shirley Jones, cameoed as herself in a dream sequence inspired by the Brady Bunch Variety Hour. Mrs. Partridge quit her job to form a family band. Yep, it's all a matter of choices, Kitty. I guess you just chose to be a bad mother. <laughs> and that same dream sequence featured 70s singer slash comedian, Charo. Ah! Singer Isaac Hayes popped up in one of Fez's final season fantasies to put a new spin on the theme from Shaft. Ooh, it's a man that would risk his neck for his brother, man. Yes. Now for a few Three's Company stars. Jenna Lee Harrison, a.k.a. Cindy Snow, and Richard Klein, a.k.a. Larry Dallas, appeared as Bob and Midge's dates in season two. Horses are beautiful, and they're very smart. They can count, you know. <laughs> Speaking of, has anyone read Equus? I gave a copy to Midge, but no offense, sweetie. It may be a little too deep for her. Meanwhile, the late Don Knox' final credit was a season eight cameo, not as Mr. Furley, but quote, the landlord. All right, you perverts, stop it right now. <laughs> Another fruit salad? Why can't they ever be having sex? Point Place High had an insane music department. I Will Survive singer Gloria Gaynor played music instructor Mrs. Clark in season one. Walk out the door, just turn around now, cause you're not welcome anymore. 
and the Who frontman Roger Daltrey guest starred as choir director Mr. Wilkinson in season four. What's so funny about the proper use of the diaphragm? It's the muscle you breathe with below your bosom. <laughs> oh, bloody imbeciles. Howard Hessman from WKRP in Cincinnati appeared in seasons three and four as WFPP station manager Max. A lot of rock legends have puked in this room. Good times. WKRP co-star Tim Reed recurred in seasons seven and eight as Hyde's biological father, William. I can get you in some places you've probably never been to. Oh, like that uh, cool jazz bar off the highway? <laughs> no, no, I'm talking about country clubs, fancy restaurants. I'm rich as hell, man. <laughs> And two years after Married with Children wrapped its 11-year run, Katie Seagal returned to Fox as Hyde's mom, Edna, halfway through season one. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Gross, Edna. <laughs> no, 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 honey. It's Miss Gross, Edna. You see, Mr. Gross, Edna ran off with Miss Perfect Ass. <laughs> Third Rock from the Sun had three stars show up on that 70s show. Joseph Gordon-Levitt was first up as Eric's gay lab partner, Buddy, in season one. He just kissed me. <laughs> Okay, I'm gay. <laughs> Wayne Knight appeared as an angel in the season four opener, inspired by It's a Wonderful Life. Eric Foreman, God's favorite cherub. And French Stewart, who was also in the new WKRP in Cincinnati, appeared with Hessman in season four, episode three. Loser! I don't lose, I win. Because I'm a winner. <laughs> Godfather of shock rock, Alice Cooper haunted Eric's nightmares after Donna got a gig at WFPP in season three. Hey, Ted Nugent and I were wondering, did you ever break up with that loser boyfriend of yours? <laughs> Not yet, Alice Cooper. Long before NBC's Young Rock tackled Dwayne Johnson's family history, in season one, The Rock played his own dad, fellow legendary wrestler Rocky Johnson. You know, I got a son, and one day he's gonna become the most electrifying man in sports entertainment. Yeah, well, good luck with that. Okay, let's get some Sabrina the Teenage Witch in here. Melissa Joan Hart and Lindsay Sloan appeared in season two as Patty and Mary, who cast a love spell on Hyde and Fez. I just like music that's passionate and rebellious and really pisses off my dad. Oh, Patty, don't say piss. Oh! And that brings us to Buffy. Come and get it. They didn't get that Slayer, but could I interest you in a little faith? Eliza Dushku guest starred as Sizzling Sarah in season seven. This is Sizzling Sarah at Groove's record store coming at you live without a bra. <laughs> and up next, some music from a band. Two more Scoobies visited that 70s show in seasons five and six, including Oz, AKA Seth Green, as obnoxious classmate Mitch Miller. Guys, we worked out our differences and basically, <laughs> He's a really great guy. And Tara's girlfriend, Willow, played a police cadet. Here she is, Allison Hannigan. Hey, thanks for giving me a ride, Simpson. We back up our own. Point, place, police, car, free, safe streets! <laughs> oh my god, is that Amy Adams? Hello, Steven. In one of her first roles ever, the future six-time Oscar nominee appeared in season two as Kat Peterson, the popular girl who would only agree to hook up with Hyde in secret. Good call, Amy. When you're with your little clique, you're too good for me. Right. But they're gone now, so... Hi. And check this one out. Just two months before The Office debuted, future Pam Jenna Fisher guest starred in a season seven episode as bridal shop owner Stacy. Oh, did you get some champagne too? Oh, I can't. I'm six months pregnant. Can't you tell? I'm huge. <laughs> She's perfect. Meanwhile, in the same year that she confused canned tuna with chicken on a reality show, pop star Jessica Simpson appeared in three season five episodes as Kelso's girlfriend, Annette. One, you will not speak to Jackie. Two, you will not speak to girls who have brown hair like Jackie. Three, you will not speak to Jackie. <laughs> I got messed up. <laughs> the OC star Rachel Bilson popped up in a season six episode as Christy. Fez was a big fan. Here's your drink, here's your bread, and here's your new lover. <laughs> you wish. Speaking of Fez and speaking of flirting, Lindsay Lohan dropped in for an episode as Danielle, who kicked off an argument between Fez and Kelso. You're such a good listener, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> what are you doing? Get off my lady! Fez! 
you shut your hot little mouth. After her breakout role in Traffic, future Parenthood star Erica Christensen appeared as a Price Mart employee who was hot for not Eric, but Red. Well, I kind of like someone else. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, Uncle Phil. James Avery appeared as Kelso's police academy commanding officer in three episodes during season six. Put that down. Put that down. <laughs> Kutcher was married to Demi Moore when her ex-husband, Bruce Willis, agreed to a cameo. He appeared in Kutcher's final episode as the Playboy Club's head of security, Vic. I don't think I want to touch Vic's head. No, go ahead, feel it. No, I really don't. Get it! Okay. Get it! <laughs> and we saved the best for last, because who better to serve as couples counselor to Leia Foreman's parents than Lando Calrissian himself, Billy D. Williams. Luke, much like the two of you, wasn't the pilot of his own future. But he was a great pilot. He used to bullseye want rats in his, his T-16 back home. <laughs> Head to TV Line for more That 70s Show coverage and tell us your favorite guest stars in the comments. For TVLine.com, I'm Claire Franken.